Hi and welcome to our lesson on dividing by 10, 100 and 1000. In this lesson we will look at dividing by 10. By using our 10 times table we can easily find that 80 divided by 10 equals 8, 50 divided by 10 equals 5, 100 divided by 10 equals 10 and 30 divided by 10 equals 3. A trick you may have learned is to take off a zero. This does work for numbers ending in at least one zero, but not all numbers end in zero. So to know what to do with numbers that don't end in zero, we need to understand what's actually happening when we take off a zero. Let's use an example from the 10 times table. 30 divided by 10. To see what's happening, let's use a place value grid. We have hundreds, tens, units, tenths, hundredths and thousandths. We place 30 on the grid. When we divide by 10, we move each of the digits of 30 one place to the right. So the 3 moves to the units column and the 0 moves to the tenths column. The number we have now is 3.0. If we only have zeros after the decimal point, then we can ignore them. So the number we have is 3. 30 divided by 10 equals 3. Here's another example. 4 divided by 10. We can start by placing 4 in the place value grid. When we divide by 10, we move the digits one place to the right. So we move 4 from the units column to the tenths column. Because we don't have anything before the decimal point, we need to write in a zero to show it. The number we have now is 0.4. So 4 divided by 10 equals 0.4. 91 divided by 10. To divide by 10, we move each digit one place to the right. It's best to move one digit at a time to avoid making any mistakes. We'll start with the 9. 9 moves from the tens column to the units column. Now for the 1. The 1 moves from the units column to the tenths column. The number that we have is 9.1. So 91 divided by 10 equals 9.1. 4.6 divided by 10. This time we have a number that is already a decimal. The same rule applies. We write 4.6 on our place value grid and to divide by 10 we move each digit one place to the right. Again we move one digit at a time to make sure that we do it correctly. We'll start with the 4. We move the 4 from the units column to the tenths column. Next we move the 6 from the tenths column to the hundredths column. Because we no longer have any digits in front of the decimal point, we write a 0 in the units column. The number we have is 0 0.46. So 4.6 divided by 10 equals 0 0.46. 0.72 divided by 10. We start by writing 0.72 on our place value grid. We are dividing by 10, so we are moving each digit one place to the right. We move the 0 to the tenths column. We move the 7 to the hundredths column. And we move the 2 to the thousandths column. We don't have any digits in front of the decimal point so we put a zero in the units column. The number we have is 0.072. So 0.72 divided by 10 equals 0.072. Here's our final example. 80.5 divided by 10. Again, we write 80.5 on our place value grid. To divide by 10, we move each digit one place to the right. We'll start with the 8. 
8 moves from the tens column to the units column. Next we have 0. 0 moves from the units column to the tenths column. And finally we move 5 from the tenths column to the hundredths column. The number we have is 8.05. So 80.5 divided by 10 equals 8.05. Here are some questions for you to try. Pause the video now and have a go. Question 1. 5 divided by 10. We move the 5 one place to the right, from the units column to the tenths column. There are no digits to the left of the decimal point, so we write in a zero. Our answer is 0.5. Question 2. 68 divided by 10. We move each digit one place to the right. We move 6 to the units column and we move 8 to the tenths column. Our answer is 6.8. Question 3. 0.53 divided by 10. We move each digit one place to the right. We move the 0 to the tenths column. We move the 5 to the hundredths column. And we move the 3 to the thousandths column. There aren't any digits in front of the decimal point, so we write in a 0. Our answer is 0 0.053. Question 4. 70.4 divided by 10. We move the 7 to the units column. We move the 0 to the tenths column. And we move the 4 to the hundredths column. Our answer is 7.04. Thank you for watching. If you'd like further practice, more questions are available on our website.